Um, okay, Google, pause. <laughs> Guess who messed up today? Probably me. I don't really know so far, but judging that my GoPro has running out of battery. No, it hasn't. Uh, okay, I've kind of, I'm, I'm, I, sometimes with GoPros, I just don't know. I don't know what happens sometimes. They just decide to overheat and make me feel like I've, like, broken it. But I did it, though. That sucks. But I did, I was going to vlog it, but I couldn't because I thought my GoPro was broken. But I just went shopping. I got a few props for a film, upcoming film that I'll talk about on Monday. Because filming starts on Tuesday and then Wednesday. And then we have another film filming on Thursday and possibly Friday. So, very, very busy week next week. Today is Friday. It's day 120 of the vlog. Sock. No. Miss. Hey, I got it in. That's pretty cool. Day 120 of the vlog, and welcome back to the channel. How's it going? I hope you're doing alright. Good afternoon, good morning, good night. Could be either of those. Um, I don't know what I'm saying goodnight, because I haven't finished the video yet, but anyway. And yeah, you guessed it. This video is going to be a bit of a um, sit down and talk vlog, because I can't do anything else at the moment. Literally, I'm stuck at home. I have to edit. I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> I have a lot of work to do. So, I'm just kind of stuck here, doing my own type of thing, my shindig fun. Just on my laptop all the time. My eyes kill, but... Oh well, I probably should have kept on the hat, my hair looks awful, but I'm getting it cut tomorrow. Very happy about that, very, very happy about that actually. So, um, yeah, so I went shopping for a film today. Very successful, I've got quite a lot of stuff, and I'm very looking forward to recording this one. It's going to be a very interesting one, it's very strange, but if we pull it off, it'll be really good. It'll be one of my favourite projects, if we pull it off in the way that I really want to. So, I've got to message a lot of people tonight, I have a long night of working, 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 editing, 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 and sending, sending, sending messages actually. Actually, talking about, I'm just going to put another hat. Um, so yeah, that's what my, my day's looking like. Um, I've just had a nice morning. Went out for lunch with my dad. My plant is so dead, it's not even funny anymore. Yeah, I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about my favourite concerts I've been to. And I've been to quite a lot, actually. Um, I only really got into music when I started college. Well, in probably the summer before I started college. I started listening to actual music. And not like, yeah, I, I was a fan of like strange like EDM songs on YouTube. Like I just started YouTube and I wanted to get some copyright free songs. And then I kind of, I, I like that music going through school. Then I started college and I got into the artists like Rex Orange County. And that's where it all went basically. I didn't really know much about music. I've never really, I still don't really know much about music. I'm kind of just a film dude, but I, I know what I like now. And um, obviously I'm not as knowledgeable with music as I am with film and video making and stuff, but still talk about it. I, I have some type of opinion now. But yeah, I've been to my first show of concerts. I haven't been to a festival before, but it's an experience. Just waiting to come up. I love music. Um, I've, 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 you know, especially through quarantine, I've started to respect it more as like an art, like kind of really listening and understanding and breaking down the, the songs. I kind of get it more than I did in the past that I didn't really understand. I think it's just part of me growing up, really. So my first concert was actually like Blue Planet Life. I got it for my sister for her Christmas present and we went in April and it was a orchestral concert. It was a great experience. And when I mean Blue Planet Live, I didn't mean that they like wheeled out whales and whatnot. It was like on a screen. It was cool. We enjoyed it. I had a great time. It's such a good night. I thought I lost my wallet. I cancelled my card. That wasn't the very good part of the night. But you know, in, in you know, in general, the night was brilliant. I had a great time. Um, and I was like, this is kind of cool. I want to go to more concerts. Right around to February, February 1st, 2018, I had my first ever concert. Was it that day? No, February 1st, 2019 was my first ever proper concert, and that was to see The Wombats. Great concert, I'd definitely rate it. You know, The Wombats were like one of the first like indie rock bands I kind of got into. They were the first type of band I really got into like their music, and I found them online on YouTube. I think their first song I found was probably Kill the Director or Moving to New York. I think it was Kill the Director because I thought it was a threat against the director, but it wasn't. I really, really liked their music. Um, Turn, their new album, come out and I was like I love this stuff then I started listening to their old stuff listening all the way through the albums I absolutely loved them um, the thing I like about the Wombats is probably their, their kind of sing-along ability that should be a word sing-along ability Every, it's really easy to pick up the lyrics it's really easy to have a good time while listening and yeah we had really good seats that was at Wembley Arena in London great time at a really good price tickets as well sorry that wasn't my first concert that was my second concert my first concert was back in 2018 in uh... November? I want to say November or October and um, it was to go see um, one of my favourite bands growing up, ELO, Electric Light Orchestra. God, what a band. Um, I actually found out about this on the day and my buddy Joe Schofield rang me up and was like, hey Max, I have a spare ticket to go see ELO, 
at the O2. Like I'd say no, of course I said yes. Had a absolutely incredible time. It was so good. I still have my hat from it, I think, somewhere. I knew the words to like all the songs. Old band, really weird crowd. Like the lights went down, you saw like the silver of people's hair reflecting. Um, the whole standing area was seating. We sang our hearts out and we actually, yeah, that was kind of, that was really cool. A uh, really, really cool time. I think you get the theme here is that I, I, I've liked all the concerts I've been to. I haven't, I haven't actually been to a concert that I haven't like not liked. If that makes sense. I, I like, I really, I can find good things out of all of them. Um, after that, I saw who did I see? Who was it? Then I saw. I'm pretty sure it was Tame Impala. I saw Tame Impala. I saw that with Joe, Alex, and Finley. Um, that was a great concert. Um, first time standing as well. And we were like three rows from the front. We queued up quite a long time for that. We had a great Nandas before. And God, we were thirsty. We were just bouncing so much. Just the energy was so good. The music, uh, Tame Impala's music live. It's just, it takes you to another universe, to be honest. Like, so good. Um, we had such a good time. And it was all around just such a good night. And like the staging, like the opening of the concert was just unreal. Like, un just unreal unreal 10 out of 10 for that concert 100 percent 10 out of 10 in a way like i can't really i don't really know how to describe it it's more of an experience than the concert definitely i would go definitely go see ten parlor if you can i saw a band called cassia and cassia is a really cool band They're very small very indie and i had a great time i went with my buddy joe and it was at a really cool place in london nice little venue scary at times but very good venue great concert first time i had a mosh pit that was scary but still, really, really good. Had a great time with Joe. Mosh pits can be scary, especially if it was a smaller venue as well. It, it felt personal. Just all around, really good music. Really good ordering of the songs as well. Next up, we did, um, I think we actually did this before this year. We saw Two Door Cinema Club. Two Door Cinema Club are definitely one of my favorite bands. All around, brilliant songs, brilliant albums. And this is a 10 out of 10 concert by far. Just Joe and I, we had Wagamons before. Great meal. Sitting seats, unfortunately. We were sitting up in the heavens, but still incredible. The all like the way I did on this, the music, the staging, everything about that concert, as well as the opening acts, we had Tom Grennan and as well as Sports Team, who are now one of my favourite bands. Insane opening acts, and then just two to a cinema club. Ah, like I can't get over it. Honestly, everything about that concert worked, and I absolutely had a blast. I wish I was standing as well. And one of my last concerts I went to before the whole coronavirus. Um, was Group Love. I went to go see Group Love. This was a few weeks before lockdown, actually. I went with me, Alex, Joe, Toby, Finley. Great time. Just an all-round great time. I had a lovely time. It was in a new venue. It was the first performance in that venue. And it was packed. It was, like, sold out. We were standing and just quite a small venue. The mosh pits. The, the, oh, God, it's brutal at times. Ah, if you haven't listened to Group Love's music, it's really, really good to experience live. It's really good to listen to as well. I definitely suggest checking them out. Um, you've probably heard their song Tongue Tied. I use it quite a lot. I also use their song Glitter in a few of my videos. So you might have heard of them before. It's just, I wish the venue was just a bit bigger. Um, so I had a bit more space. It was a good concert. I had a gr great time. It was a great, it was a great time. And then finally, a concert I went to, like one of my favorites, if not my favorite artists, um, is Rex Orange County. I saw Rex Orange County in November last year at Brixton. First time going to Brixton, O2 Academy. It's a great venue. So much bigger than I thought it was. I, yeah, really love that venue. Yeah, I had a great time with the concert. It was, the concert itself was fantastic. Like the songs, the music, everything about it was brilliant. I went with my friend Finley, a different Finley this time. This is Finley Jury. You might have seen in a few of my videos. Great guy, great concert. Great time. But yeah, strange concert though. Uh, they didn't say anything about opening acts, so we assume that there was going to be one. There usually is an opening act. Didn't have anything about it or any start times or anything. But the doors opened at like 7.30. My friend Lydia went to see him as well at the same the same day. We actually saw him. I'm pretty sure my friend Lydia did a video about this, so I'm going to link that down below. It was quite stressful. Um, we didn't know what was going on. We kind of just waited there for like an hour and a half. Some strange people as well who went to the concert, but by the end, we had a great time. So yeah, that about does it for today. I'm sorry for another talky video, but it is a Friday. Next week is very active and also the week before was active so if you want to check out my other videos make sure you check them out and subscribe for more content as well as liking the video if you want to. That'd be really awesome actually if you did do that and um, I'll see you in due course. Thank you for joining me. I'm Max Roach and goodbye.